I'm going to do an equilibrium calculation here for an isomerization reaction. Aluminum chloride is a catalyst that makes this reaction take place faster. And we're given Kc, the equilibrium constant in concentration units. And we're given the starting concentrations of the reactant and product. So cyclohexane and methyl cyclopentane. And then we're asked to determine what are the concentrations at equilibrium. First thing we want to do, let's look at this reaction that's in equilibrium. So it's always good to write down information that we know. And our starting concentration, cyclohexane and then a methyl cyclopentane, that's the start, and then we're going to let it go to equilibrium. Well, we don't know which direction it goes, but it doesn't matter. We're going to get the answer. Let's assume it goes in this direction, and it's going to go to equilibrium. So at equilibrium, equilibrium constant, concentration of product, concentration of reactant, and concentration of product, and concentration of reactant. And this is going to be equal to 0 0.143. So we can multiply through. So I've done the multiplication. Then bought, and let's correct this. These are terms containing x and the right side. So when I solve for x, it turns out it's negative, which means we guessed the wrong direction to approach equilibrium. And so that just means that to approach equilibrium, some of the products form reactants, so the concentration of cyclohexane, 0 0.200 minus the minus 0 0.045. So that's the concentration of cyclohexane. Likewise, concentration of methyl cyclopentane. So here's the concentration of methyl cyclopentane at equilibrium, and this is what... The objective of this problem was to determine concentrations as the system went to equilibrium.